<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building, man. Of course, I got Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So look, y'all asked for it, and we got it. You wanted the blues, we brought you the blues. <laughs> That shit sounded real, dude. Ain't nobody asked for no blues. Quiet right? storm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can sweat those tail like shit. Key, key sweat. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> but no. J-O-B. Right. Quiet storm. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the quiet storm, dog. <laughs> quiet storm got me some pussy before, so I ain't even mad at quiet storm. All right, so look. We, uh, we going to the blues for real, though. If anybody's uh, familiar with blues music, then you probably know who John Lee Hooker is, right? So that's the distillery, but the name of the actual expression, Boogie Chillin' Bourbon, right? Okay. That's what we got. I wanted to I want to read the story that's on the side of the uh, bottle, too, because I thought that was just interesting. Uh, this bottle is uh, a tribute to the king of the boogie. The king of the boogie, John Lee Hooker, receives a heartfelt tribute from his grandson, Glenn Thomas, with this bourbon. Okay. Boogie Chillin' Bourbon, named after John Lee's iconic track, Boogie Chillin'. It embodies the spirit of his grandfather's legacy. This exceptional bourbon is more than just a craft spirit. It's a tribute to the memories of family gatherings, late night jam sessions, and the legacy of a musical giant. Boogie Chillin' Bourbon captures the spirit of John Lee Hooker, who touched hearts with his music and much love. All right, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so. 100 release, proof, by the way. 100 proof is not bottle and bond. Okay, it's how does that work? All right, so the bottle and bond means you got to go through government regulation. So it's just because at 100, if you ain't do the government regulation, right. it ain't. It's not okay. bottle and bond. So this gotcha. is 100 proof. It's aged four years. Okay. The release date is April of 24. Mm -hmm. So April of this year. Um, so it's just that four then. Price point. 112. Damn. Mm. That's the right. MSRP is 112. Mm. Y'all just said the Now, bar it high. is sourced. Mm -hmm. now, here's, the, here's the thing. I, okay. I figured it was sourced, but now I know where it's from. It's okay. sourced from Bardstown. Mm. So we, I'm expecting it's, we're going to have gonna be some, interesting. some good stuff here. This is going to be interesting. I'm curious of what we're about to get into. And I'm curious of the comparison, too. But uh, the company name is John Lee Hooker Legacy Spirits. Yep. But it's at $112 for a four year 100 proof bourbon. Gotcha. Okay. 112. We up to skull. Remember, we were just talking about 55? Right. <laughs> Last was week. Just tripping about it. Just <laughs> tripping about that. <laughs> 112, where the players dwell. All right, so uh, let's get to it. Let's see what this, this court better sound like. Magnificence. I'm, right. I'm a hella pause, man. Right, pause for the court. Okay, right. okay. Right. I'll fuck with you, John Lee. Shout out to niggas named John Lee. It's got a gurgle to it. Too. Yeah, it does. I heard that. I heard that. Let's see what we got here, man. I'm excited, now. Especially after uh, I've heard some commentary about Barstown and to be in that comparison, that's dope. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a crime. <laughs> right. You didn't waste a little. There we go. Give me a little smell out of that. Uh, to the boogie chilling. So y'all see that again, boogie chilling hooker. Help me out. I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting. I'm getting mm. alcohol. I'm not even getting this, alcohol. This is gonna sound weird. All right. I'm getting like light, very light, faint mint. Maybe. I can see that. I'm, I'm getting nothing. Yeah, I hear those. No apples. No, 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 maple, no, classic no stuff, vanilla, yeah. no vanilla, no, no corn, nothing. No corn, I, yeah. I get nothing. There's nothing oh. here, not even alcohol. I got to see go. what this is. What matters is the taste, right? Mm. Okay. Mm. Damn. Caramel. Definitely caramel. Got the little bit of corn in there. It's got some vanilla on the finish. Vanilla, mm -hmm. definitely. It's classic mm -hmm. notes. 
nice little bite to it. It's got a little bit of oakiness to it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I got to see what it's A little it's bit of spice it. on the end, mm -hmm. on the side of the tongue. On the side, yeah. But no smell. I would get nothing, so hopefully y'all I mean, get I, I like I smell alcohol, like, you know. I don't even get alcohol. Maybe like a faint hit of honey, too. Okay. Very faint, though. I agree. Yo, this is this is a little complex, I would say. But I had to take some air into my mouth. Yeah, that's how, that's how I do it. a little slurping sound to, to yeah. get that. Pause, pause. I, know, I, know. I, get, I get what you're saying. But <laughs> the finish is interesting, though, because I'm getting kind of like a vanilla, French vanilla type of uh, 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 taste on the finish. Now, I'm going to tell you what's hella weird, though. I did not smell the mint. But I taste the mint at the end. I don't taste any mint, but I felt like I, I smelled some mint for some reason. I tasted at the end. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm not getting either one of them. I got like some no very taste. Like, vanilla, I hope that's not the edible vanilla, I had earlier. On, on the <laughs> Prince Vanilla? Let's see what the, what the smoke do for The vanilla's it. definitely in there. Mm-hmm. Cigar doesn't yeah, for you. As far as the, the taste, the, uh, I mean, as far as the smell, the aromas. Cigar doesn't help or hurt. I got nothing, really. <clears throat> yeah, aroma, I, I don't. I don't smell anything. This is sneaky. Because you won't know. I ain't going to lie, I like it, though. I like it. I'm fucking with it. It's, it's a nice little, it's a, a nice amount of, like, the sweetness that I, that I enjoy. And a little bit of a, a bite at the end, I think, that's <laughs> that's cool enough for me. The uh, I'll get into what I really want to say after the break though, so because <laughs> I got a couple of things to say, but uh, I, I kind of fuck with it initially. I, I think I, I think I'm cool with it. Though. Um, we go go to commercial break for for sure, like we always do, and when we get back, we go give it the one to five Black Power Fist rating. And we go see what we giving John Lee Hooker Legacy Spears Boogie Chilling Bourbon. <laughs> Be right back after this. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Be back in a minute. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back, man. We ready to uh, give our one to five Black Power Fist rating. On the uh, Boogie Chillin' Bourbon. All right, so uh, last week, I know we started with Angry Principal uh, this week. Uh, Bo, I thought we'll start with you. Uh, what you uh, what you want to give it, dog? One to five Black Power Fist rating. What you thinking, bro? So, kind of impressed with the complexity, right? Mm -hmm. um, didn't really get much on the aroma, on the nose. You know, the aroma, it was maybe, I, I thought I maybe some faint, kind of like mint, but it, I didn't think that was right because I never smelled mint really in bourbon before, ever, right. you know? So, um... Mint julep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Down at the races. Right. Um, <laughs> the races, races. Yeah. Um, oh, my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what you were saying. But the, uh, I like the finish, though. The finish, you know, I got some kind of very, like, light, faint, you know, maybe a little hint of honey, but some vanilla, French vanilla, something like that on the, on the finish. So that was okay. Uh, as far as the proof, I didn't really get, I don't know, I I thought it was a little easy going going down, not much of a hug. It's okay. Um, at the price point, I'm probably going to have to go with one and a half. Ooh, the price point. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's true. They price you out, all right? Hey, look. Hey. If, if, if it was like, you know, if it's hey, 50, look, it 60, may, yeah. maybe two, maybe a two and a half tops. But yeah. at this price point, yeah, I got to go one and a half. No, and it's not even a strong half. It was more like a one. <laughs> no, it's strong half. It's strong half. half. Yeah, yeah. The Angry. story worth, worth at least that. You know what I mean? I got you. Yeah, you know? I got you. Angry principal, what you say, man? So I added a little water, a couple drops of water, and the honey smell came out. Okay. So I at least got some honey on the nose. Mm -hmm. um, at 100 proof for $112. Just to have John Lee Hooker's picture on there, mm -hmm. 
I'm agreeing with Bo on this one. Yeah. I like the story. Yeah. It's cool. But 112 for 100 proof mm-hmm. when the only thing... Now, the, the taste is good. I, I do enjoy the taste. It's complex. You got to get in there to really find some mm-hmm. nose. Okay. I, until I added some water, I couldn't do anything but smell honey. Mm-hmm. I couldn't smell anything until I added some water, and that was honey. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the taste, I'm not giving it... Uh, it's 112. Yeah. So I'm thinking more of the, the, the person that's not trying to spend... That actually wants to drink it and not let it just sit at yeah. the bar. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm at a one. I, I'm really at a one because 112 throws me off. Yeah. I'm not buying it at 112. No, I got and you. I don't know anything about it. And it's just four years. Right. Right. You know, if you're That's talking, the one thing it is four right, years. Yeah. If, if you're talking it's eight to 12, even if it's 10 years like an Eagle Rare, mm-hmm. then, okay, Maybe you can tell me 110, it. you got an age statement on there, mm-hmm. I'm cool. Yeah. But four years at 112 for 100 proof, that's not bottle and bond. I'm giving it a one, and it's just about price. Not necessarily right. about taste, but mm-hmm. all about price. Gotcha. Okay. That. Definitely and the makes cigar sense. didn't help it. Yeah. Didn't hurt it. Uh, there is some spice. There is a hug at the end, mm-hmm. and, and that, that's what surprised me. There is a hug at the end, mm-hmm. but spice with the cigar, that's about the only thing that does. It help, helps it. Yeah. Doesn't help or hurt it. Just brings out the spice. Gotcha. I got to go for a one. Yeah. All right, well, uh, price. <laughs> oh, on that note, hey man, nah, you it, what you like is what nah, you- yeah. So, so this is my thing. I'm a, I'm a, first off, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a two. Um, I'm giving it a two. Uh, again, like everyone here already said, kind of not solely, but mostly solely based on the price. Like 112 is just like it's, it's a high price point, right? Um, I didn't know what to expect because I normally don't buy bottles. Um, at that level, so I didn't know what to expect or what to compare it to, so I didn't really have a comparable. Um, but as far as the complexity of the taste, like I think it's very complex. Doesn't doesn't exactly include the like some of my favorite notes. Um, like that would be like you guys said vanilla. I didn't get the vanilla. I got a little caramel in there. No, because I, I like the way caramel, caramel and there, vanilla yeah. goes together. And usually I can I can taste those two together. So it's it's complex and it's got a it's got a, a decent taste. A nice amount of hug to it at the end, like nothing you know to write home about, but it's a decent hug. But it's like spending over a hundred dollars is like I don't know what to compare it to, but I am giving it to because I do feel like, uh, and I know it's only aged for four years, but I do feel like the story and the legacy is like important. Okay, so I got so two questions for, the, for y'all for the story time. You said a two, you yeah. said a one and a half, mm-hmm. I said a one. Would you replace this bottle? Like at the, <laughs> would, you put, would you spend the hundred twelve again, again on this bottle? You know what? Honestly, just speaking of the story, I would. I would keep a bottle because to just talk about legacy. Okay. So yeah, I would. Well, I would not. Um, and it would just be it would just be a story bottle for me. You know, after I cracked it and tasted, it, you yeah. know, I'm not really impressed with it. You know. And I'm definitely not going to replace it at 112 just to have a story, you know, yeah. a conversation piece. You know? So now, what if it was 45? Yes, I would. <laughs> what if it was a $45 bottle? Oh, I mean, I was I was going to do it anyway. But yeah, 45 for sure. <laughs> I, I might buy two of them motherfuckers at 45. Okay. Right. So it really is. It really is a price point this thing. This is a price point thing. And, and nothing so, else. So let me ask this. Should, and and it's sourced from Bardstown. So you know he's up in the price because he got to recoup his money. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, he's got, so yeah, he's got to recoup his money. I get that. Mm-hmm. But. You still at 112 MSRP. Yeah, that means when they sell it in the store, it's probably gonna be more mm-hmm. 125, 130. Right, because they got to market. They got to make it, make a little bit of money. Yeah. On it. So, I, yeah. I, that's why I'm at a one. I got you. I mean, definitely the the price is is a thing. Is, is it something though? And again, real quick before we get out of here, I don't want to make it like a, a a racial thing, but is it a thing that we we should be okay with supporting like a black brand just? I ain't gonna say just because, but kind of just because, though. Like, pay the one twelve because, like, we understand the legacy. If that's what you want to do. One time, but I'm not. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, maybe one time, but I'm not replacing. Not gonna keep it. replacing. Mm-hmm. Okay. it. I'm gonna drink it once. It's gonna sit up at the bar. It's, and gonna tell it's the gonna story con- about it. Yep. That's all it is. It's a conversation piece. Mm-hmm. Sit up there. <clears throat> I'm not celebrating with this bottle. Mm-hmm. Got gotcha. you. Because I'm not trying to drop it down to where I have to replace to it. Because I'm not gonna do it. Because I'm not gonna spend 112 on it. I'm just. <laughs> I'm not Just keep it real. I, I hate to say that they priced everybody out, but bourbon, y'all, y'all can't price people out if y'all actually want to make some money. You yeah. Stop pricing people out. That's true. I can dig that. All right. Well, on that note, we got a, a one, a one point five, <laughs> and a two and shit. Right? Generous guy over here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I really do. Just I don't, 
It's black owned company. It's black black thing. Okay, I got you. <laughs> it's a black owned company. Now, I, I, just, I understand that. Yeah, that's know. why you get the first time. That's right. it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. all you get out of it. <laughs> right. Now, what if he was from Tuskegee? That's a whole different ballgame. Oh. That doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get out of here. A whole different ballgame. A whole different ballgame. On that note, man, we are up out of here, dog. Again, make sure that you check out the Boogie Chillin' Bourbon by John Lee Hooker, Legacy Spirits. Check it out for yourself and see what you like um, mm-hmm. because what we like might not be what you like, and that's that's okay. cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. To the next time. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole crew is in here, but now we about to be out of here, man. My man, Angry Principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like, but don't go broke in the process. <laughs> <laughs> My man, Bo holding it down. I'll say, y'all. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.